There he goes. Catapulted off into space. Yes, it was. Cl close. Beliog. Wait, Beliog? Yeah, Beliog's green. Time door? Is that what those uh, swirling blue vortexes are? Somehow I don't trust Olaf flying a spaceship. And the entire universe will, will implode. Or something like that. That button. Well, that's that's not good. I guess that's their cue to jump in the swirling blue vortex again. I guess it's just as well that they uh, annihilate Tomato and his ship. Somehow, I think five seconds has passed. Vortex thingy. Where does it lead us? No. Take a wild guess. We just beat the, the boss of the game, so clearly it's got to take us home. Gee, I wonder why. No, if only the text actually moved at a rate that I had control of. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why does our family use the same color text box as the bad guy? Oh, I was gonna say, the heck is Dada? But that's probably one of the kids saying Dada. We got to eat lots of fruit and meat and clobber lots of uh, strange creatures and aliens. Let me scowl menacingly at you while I say this. Um, what do we bring back from the future? Clearly we brought back electric guitars. And apparently Olaf brought back the ability to dance. You know it's a Blizzard game when the en ending credits involve a group of Vikings forming a rock band and performing a concert. It's a very Blizzard thing to do. And so, this is, uh, well, obviously the, the final credits. So this is the part where I give my opinion on the game. And honestly, there's not a whole lot to say about it, because The Lost Vikings, at least in my opinion, is just an all-around amazing game. I mean, sure, there are some kind of nitpicks about it that you can make. I mean, in particular, I find that the difficulty ramps up way too hardcore uh, towards the end of the game. And uh, I think it relies a little bit too much on trial and error. There are some things that they implemented, again, especially towards the end, that are just way too reliant on trial and error. Like, it's not something that you could possibly deal with unless you knew what was there. And, I mean... For some gaming eras, that's perfectly acceptable, but, I mean, by the time the SNES rolled around, I, I don't think they really, game companies should really rely on cheap tactics like that to extend the life of their game. I mean, that's more of an 8-bit era thing, if you ask me. I, beyond that, I don't really think of it as acceptable. But, I mean, the game on a whole, I mean... The graphics, there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. I mean, they're obviously, it's Super Nintendo, so they're not, oh my god, amazing, but I mean, I tend to think they're quite good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them, and as far as I'm concerned, that's what defines kind of good graphics. It's 
if it serves its purpose well enough, given the style that they use, then I think it's just fine. The music in this game is obviously amazing. I mean, listen to it. For a Super Nintendo game, I mean, it's pretty freaking awesome. I mean, to this day, it's one of the the best soundtrack and best and most memorable soundtracks I can think of. I mean. There's this amazing kind of tunes going on throughout the entire game from start to finish, you know? All the way from the opening uh, scenes to the, the final credits. I mean, the gameplay, there's lots of clever puzzles, and the whole concept of, you know, working together as this team is, I think, pretty original. So, I don't know, I mean, on, on the whole, I think Lost Vikings is just an excellent game. It's just a real testament that even way back before they were even known as Blizzard Entertainment, Blizzard was making amazing games. And they, they even say in their own final credits, watch it for the Lost Vikings 2. Because that is certainly a game that I will probably be doing a let's play of at some point. Although I have never actually beaten that one yet, so I should probably do that first. That is, however, not the next side LP I will be doing. But anyways, this is me signing off for Let's Play The Last Vikings. Catch you on the next project.